All right, for this test we're going to try an electromagnet, which we've got here. This one is quite powerful. Um, just a coil of rather thick wire, 3 ohms resistance thereabouts, with a steel core. Just a bit of ferrite here. Um, just to show you that, of course, it is an electromagnet. Uh, what else have we got? Same fish tank set up. I have a battery charger keeping this battery charged while we use it to drive the electromagnet and of course our power supply will be providing the current to the water. A amp meter. So we'll hook up the electromagnet. And as you can see, oh, as you can see, it just broke the core, but quite powerful. Okay, very powerful. The radio. So, um, dropping a little bit because the battery voltage will be dropping, but it'll only go down so far, and then the charger will keep it charged at about 5 amps at 13 volts. So 60 plus watt of uh, magnet. So quite powerful. Um, so we'll disconnect that. Like yay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to place this in the fish tank on top of our plate. So this becomes conductive as we did with the permanent magnets in the previous experiment. We'll start it up without any current going through our coil, so of course it will not be a magnet, like it's not now. And then we'll switch the power onto the coil, so as we have ourselves an electromagnet with, um, of course, the north and the south pole, and we'll see if we get the same spin effect as we did with our neodymiums. So we'll go ahead, set that up, and we'll be back. Alright, so we're set to go. I'm going to switch the power on to the water. And as we would expect, we are creating bubbles. Now the coil at the moment is off. And as we can see, we have no spin. So I'm now going to switch the coil on. Five point four amps, thirteen odd bolts, and we still have no spin. These bubbles are just going straight up. No spin. That's interesting. Okay, we'll swap the polarity around on the coil so as we will now put the other pole up the top okay we're going to hook it up once again no spin Okay, so an electromagnet gives no spin. Why? And I can assure you that is a fairly powerful magnet. Steel rod. As you can see. It's going to be able to get off. And I'm getting a little zap in that water, I don't know why. But, um. Let me just set this camera down here. I don't know why. We get spin with a permanent magnet, and we don't. With an electromagnet, I'm just swapping the polarity back around.
as you can see, nothing. So there you go. I'm seeing no spin from an electromagnet. That magnet is currently on and now it is off. Switching it back on. You might see the light do a little flick when I switch it on because that's actually running off the same battery as the coil. Well, no spin from an electromagnet. And you can see it's very magnetised. Just switch that off so I can get this pole off there easy. Okay. Switching it back on. Zero spin. So this is telling me that a uh, electromagnet does not have the same field properties as a permanent magnet. Which I find very interesting. Mm, something to think about. Cheers guys. Just going to try something um, else. I've moved the wires from the vertical position so they're running along the bottom of the tank with the rest just in case that was interfering with it. And we're going to try that as well. See if it makes any difference. So that's without the coil on. Now we're going to turn the coil on. Oh, lots of sparks. And wires everywhere. And still there is no spin. So what I'm going to do now, switch everything off, place an electromagnet on top of that core, I mean a permanent magnet on top of that core, and leave the electromagnet magnet on and see what happens. Okay so we have our permanent magnet sitting on top of the electromagnet and our poles are in series you could say if the bottom was north the top would be south of the electromagnet the bottom of the permanent magnet would be north and the top would be south. Um, simply can't put them together the other way they won't go of course. So we'll put the power onto the tank and instantly you can see the spin on top of the permanent magnet, clear as day. What I'm going to do now is turn on the electromagnet and we will see what happens. It's now on and we still clearly have the spin on top of the permanent magnet. can see the bubbles on the bottom of the electromagnet going straight up so we clearly still have no spin on the electromagnet while we have it on the permanent magnet the power is now off to the coil as you can see Definitely a clear spin there. Power back on to the coil. Oop. Lots of sparks. And the bubbles on the bottom of the electromagnet are still going straight up, so there's absolutely no spin there. And yet, on top of the permanent magnet, we have spin. going to do now is swap 
the polarity of the electromagnet over. Hopefully it won't blow the permanent magnet off it, but let's see what happens. No, it's still good. So definitely have a lot of spin on the permanent magnet. But where the electromagnet and the permanent magnet are, are coupled, you can see the bubbles are going straight up. Turn the electromagnet off. So it doesn't seem to have any effect on the permanent magnet. What we can see now with the electromagnet off is we're getting a slight spin on the bottom of the pole as well of the uh, steel core because the magnetism the fuel lines no doubt from the permanent magnet are travelling down to the bottom through that steel core so we are getting a slight spin in the opposite direction to what we have in the top Once again, hook the electromagnet back up. Nothing changes there, but we now have no spin on the bottom of the electromagnet. And the electromagnet is hooked up, as you can see. So I think that confirms that we get no spin from an electromagnet but we get a lot of spin from a permanent magnet and uh, the dogs are going off, I'm going to shoot them so obviously someone's turned up, but anyway there you have it an electromagnet gives no spin at the poles and a permanent magnet does even when they're being operated together so of course the electromagnet is now off as you can see and the permanent magnet field is taking over and we are getting a spin on the bottom that is clearly opposite to the spin direction on the top so I find that very interesting it would seem to me that yes an electromagnet does not have the same type of fields as a permanent magnet or the same effect no spin visible from the electromagnet and a clear visible spin from the permanent magnet thanks for watching guys